Hey beautiful friends, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Tiffany, I'm a mindset and life coach, preferably for women who no longer want to live in those old stories, old beliefs that are holding them back in their lives and they want more. So what am I here to talk about today? I'm here to talk to you about two superpowers we all have that sometimes we don't utilize to the best of our ability, uh, which can drastically change your life. You know, for people that are seeking success, this is a huge, huge thing. So I would listen closely. So first off, this is the second take of this video. The reason why is my daughter is now sick. I'm still quite nasally. So if my voice sounds off, it's because of that. And uh, the card I got um, this morning is like an eagle, it is your time to soar. Do not fear that you will fall. Now this card goes beautifully hand in hand with what we're talking about today. So to start off, what is the number one superpower that we all have that's either going to our advantage or going against us? That superpower is belief. Now you may be thinking, what do you mean by that? What do I have to believe in to be successful? What do I have to do to be successful? Now belief can either help you or it will disarm you. It's going to be either either. Now by that I mean a person that believes wholeheartedly that they will have success, they're working with themselves, not against themselves. Whatever you believe in life, you are right. Remember that. Whatever you believe in life, you are right because you are believing it. Belief is your perception of your current reality. Remember that. Belief is your perception of your current reality. So if you believe you're going to fail, you will fail because you believe it. What happens inside your body when you believe you're going to fail? You know, you're not going to do action, are you? Because you believe you're going to fail. So either you will do action, but you won't do very well, or you'll self-sabotage yourself. So where do beliefs come from? Beliefs come from so many things in life. Um, but please stay on till the end because belief is not the only thing you need to succeed. There's another superpower that goes hand in hand with belief. And if you don't do the other one, Belief's not going to really get you anywhere. So beliefs can come from conditioning your outside environment. So belief can come from you sitting down at the television every night and watching the news. Now, a lot of the time the news is very, very negative. It's very, very sad. So your belief of your outside world and how the world is, is going to be a lot different from someone that doesn't watch the news. You know, you might be having a coffee with your friend and talking about how scary and sad the world is and how humans are evil and ugly and nasty. And your friend will be sitting there, you know, she might do yoga, she might meditate. And she has a very different view to the one you already have. So keep in mind what you observe and what you surround yourself has a direct correlation with what you believe. And as you grow up, your beliefs still from a child can be currently your beliefs right now. And it's beliefs that you heard your mother say, you know, she might have said, you men are assholes, your dad's an ass. You know, you're going to grow up believing that because your mother instilled that in you from a young age. You may not have ever met your dad. He may have been the most beautiful bloke you'd ever work, um, walked the earth. However, you've been instilled with that seed as a young child, hearing it again and again. You'd see your mother doing the actions for it as well. So it's all your senses, you see, you hear, you touch, you taste, you know, this is all further concreting your beliefs. So I just wanted to share that with you. So always um, remember that you can self-sabotage yourself with whatever you do in life, depending on your belief. So if you know, for instance, you've got a business and you knew that if you jumped on live video and you shared value and you connected with people, you would be successful, right? That belief is pretty much 100% true that if you connected and you build relationships and you put your product out there or whatever you're doing, yes, people are going to see it. So the more eyes that see it, you know, the more likely someone's going to reach out to you and say, I'm really interested in your product, you know. But if your belief was scarcity, I'm scared, you know, if I jump on this life, that one person's going to troll, they're going to, you know, say something bad. Well, you need to stop and um, take a step back and have a think, okay. In the past, have you done a live video? You say yes. In the past, has someone trolled and said something nasty to you? So always look, your brain always looks to, you know, examine the truth. And sometimes it doesn't. So for someone that may have this fear of jumping on a live, even though they know it'd be good for their business, maybe someone in the past has wrote a nasty comment. Sometimes, though, when I've talked to clients myself, um, that the answer's been no. They've never had any nasty comments, you know, nasty, you know, people have already liked and they've they've really been supportive and encouraging of that person. 
However, still their brain tells them, you know, scared, scared, scared. And that could be because what they said on the news, it could be any conditioning. And it could have just been because they heard someone else say in, in a conversation, oh, really scared of jumping on alive, you know, so they've heard it somewhere else before. So remember your beliefs aren't first yours. You've learned them or heard them from someone else and then you've taken them on as your own. The power lies in that you can change your beliefs at any given moment in time. Remember that you have the power to change your beliefs at any given moment in time. Okay, that's important too. So for someone, for an example, you want to get on live, you want to jump on live, you want to learn how to be confident and unstoppable doing lives. You need to believe that you can do it. You need to believe that you're successful. You need to believe that you are confident. Confidence is an external thing. You'll hear that time and time and again. Confidence is not an external thing. We have all got confidence, but we tell ourselves we don't because we're then telling our brain that confidence is something that we can grab out on a shelf. No, it is not. You are already confident, but other beliefs have led you to believe you are not, but you are. So remember that as well. You know, confidence is inside you. It's not something you need to attain. Remember that. So person wants to jump on the live, you know, they start, you know, building up these new beautiful beliefs about themselves. Jump on that live, you know, sit there and think, wow, what value am I giving these people? Really, really lean into the new beliefs of, well, it's going to give someone value. I'm excited because people are going to jump on my life, they're going to like it, they're going to resonate, they're going to enjoy it. You know, really lean into that belief. So if you are focusing on that, your brain's not going to be focusing on, oh, scarcity, I'm scared, I don't want to do it, people are going to hate it. So lean into the thoughts that are going to serve you, do not lean into the thoughts that are not. The second superpower, guys, that go hand in hand with belief is action. If you do not have any action but you have belief, what do you have? You have nothing. Someone that's successful, they have belief and they have action. It goes hand in hand. Now, success doesn't have to mean a monetary value. Success means you're living your life at your purpose. You're living your passion. You're living your desire. You're living your joy, your love, your zen, whatever you want to call it. But make sure you're doing action. That's the difference. Success is action, belief, all these beautiful things. And there's so many other things, but I just wanted to bring up these two superpowers for you today. <laughs> action, guys. Make sure every day, whatever your desire or purpose is, write it out. Make sure you're doing action. You know, if there's beliefs that you need to shift, what is further giving you those negative beliefs? You know, is it the news? Is it the people you surround yourself with? Start surrounding yourself with positive, uplifting, uplifting inspiring people. Reach out to people. Build beautiful relationships, you know. Have positive, beautiful beliefs because they're going to get you very far in life. People do not need to live, you know, unlimited, no, limited, sorry, not unlimited, limited lifestyles. We can all have beautiful lives, but we choose to believe otherwise. Why? What's different from, you know, someone on the Forbes list to yourself? They just believed they could do it and they took action until they got their desired result. You know, find someone in your niche or what you want to do in life who's successful in what they do. Model them. Model them. What does that person believe? What got them there? Do it. I hope that was helpful, guys. I'm not sure how long I've been banging on, but I really hope that gave you some inspiration today to go out and live your life the way you should be living it, the way you want to live it. So much love to you all. I'll talk to you later. I've got some exciting news coming in the next few weeks, um, but you're all going to have to wait. But I'm super, super pumped and excited. To my YouTube family that will be watching this, please like and subscribe if you're into this type of thing. I'll try and be more consistent with my uploads. And if you need a life coach or mindset coach, please reach out. We can have a chat, see what you need, and we can get something started. Lots of love, guys. See ya.